Hey guys, it's Kelly Ann and welcome to another Flossy Friday. Almost forgot to record this. It's like 6.30 in the evening. I actually took off today and you would think that I would have done this a lot earlier in the day. Um, so my angle and everything is a little bit different because a couple reasons. One, I have a lot of more quilty things to show this time and also because I have a new stand. So I'm actually recording this on my phone um, and then I'm gonna have to drop it to my iPad so I can then upload it because for whatever reason, it's faster to upload from my iPad than my phone, probably because, I don't know, it's receiving more crap. Who knows? Anyway, so I ordered yesterday on Amazon a ring light setup. Um, because for the last, I don't know, three or four weeks, I, um, or I guess about a month ago, oh my gosh, let's back up. What is happening? My brain is on overload. I've got the most sleep last night that I have this entire week. I'm also just really hyper and I don't know why. Um, but <laughs> about a month ago, I applied for the second opening of Patriot Ambassadors uh, for Patriot Gear. And I got I got one of the spots this um, the second round. And um, I love their gear. I wear it all the time. And now I'm an ambassador for it. And um, I'm going to start making content for not only that on my Instagram, but also my Young Living essential oil stuff. I'm going to be making stuff for that as well. Um, and possibly like I just wanted a better setup to like maybe um, take better photos for my quilt and other things like that. So yesterday I ordered myself a ring light setup and um, my friend Ashley called me um, whenever she got off work and she was like, hey, I got to stop by. And I'm like, I thought we're seeing tomorrow each other tomorrow, maybe, or like sometime this weekend. And she was like, yeah, but I have to bring you something um, because you might need it. And I was like, is it going to die or expire? <laughs> Anyways, so <laughs> long story short, um, she wouldn't tell me what it was. And I said, oh my gosh, guess what I got today. And so I told her that I ordered a setup and she said, cancel it. Cause that's what I'm bringing you. <laughs> so I have this really better like ring light situation. Um, like I can, I can like change it, um, to different colors. I really like the rotating colors. Uh, this one. How fun is this? <laughs> it's so exciting. Um, uh, or, I mean, I now the lights are literally off in my sewing room. But you could still see what I'm talking about. Anyway, so um, really fun. I'm so excited about that. And... Um, <laughs> So yeah, right now I'm standing because um, I kind of made a mess of my office. Um, we had like some downtime. So <laughs> this week has been crazy. So last weekend, okay, last weekend, like Friday, everything was like chill, right? Well, Friday evening, Ashley and I decide, and Tracy's over. So we like kind of rope her into this for like a little bit, but we drove separate cars because she like wanted to go sleep. <laughs> so there was all these things that I wanted to do on Saturday last weekend. And, um, so, uh, I, I asked Ashley, are we, are we doing this one and this one and this one and what, what time and whatever. And I mentioned one, she says, Oh yeah, I want to do that. But what time does it start? And I said, well, Steven said we had to be there at like seven 30 in the morning. And she was like, there's no way that's happening unless I just don't go to sleep. And I was like, are we doing this? <laughs> we did it. Okay. Um, probably not a good idea. So just know that going into this story, we did not make good decisions. It's fine. So <laughs> Friday evening went over to Ashley's, we pulled an all nighter sewing. Um, and so, you know, like some of it was just like talking and like bullshit and whatever. Um, but I did get some stuff done, which is really exciting. 
um, and <laughs> like sewing wise. Um, and I'm trying to think, yeah, we stayed up all night. Um, so we both woke up around like 6 30 Friday morning and we stayed up. Um, <laughs> and I did not get home until about 9 PM that night. And I ate dinner. Uh, I took a quick shower and then I passed the flip out probably around like 10. So I was up from Friday morning at like 6 30 AM to Saturday night around 10 PM. And then the whole rest of the week, I just didn't have the best sleep. I was getting like a little bit here or there um, because I had my certification exam scheduled for Wednesday and I was just like, just not sleeping well because I get really anxious and like whatever, I don't test well. And anyways, I knocked it out of the park. I got my certification in Power Platforms Fundamentals through Microsoft and I'm so excited because it's like one of several that I want to get and it will just help further my career. And I'm anyways, I like I love the new path that I'm on career-wise and I'm just so excited to have this certification. It's it's a dream. Anyways, office is a mess. I'm in a different spot. I now have an amazing setup. Thanks to my friend Ashley and if she's watching this, I like, <laughs> also I did cancel my order and it says that it's going to be canceled. So, um, they had the money out pending, but it should get put back in. But anyways, I like mind blown. Um, so speaking of Ashley really fast. Oh, the cats are fine. They're sleeping in the other room. Um, they're fine. <laughs> so, but speaking of Ashley, a long, a long while back, like whenever flannel was like a thing, um, like in the stores, uh, at like Hobby Lobby, um, we found this flannel and it's the orange, blue and white, which is our school colors. And I go to the football games and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, this would be so perfect for whenever the games are like cooler. And, um, so one side is still like raw edged, which is totally fine. Um, and, but one side she, we picked this out and there was exactly enough, but we picked this out and she did a stitch, uh, down two sides, um, and attached, attached this lace and, um, did it on the, um, on point and look at this lace you guys like the way that she like overlapped it 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 perfectly lined up crazy so um it's just oh that's backwards so it's just like a really cool like could wear it like that um could wear it like a little tighter up I don't know it's just really cute really pretty um really nice and warm and <laughs> I can wear it to the games. Um, I can also like open it up completely and um, like tie it different ways. Anyways, I love this. It's so cute and it's sewing related. So I had to show you. Um, okay. <laughs> I didn't make it, but it's super cute. Um, okay. So something that I worked on uh, was my art gallery, art gallery fabrics quilt with the shine on fabric. I had to think for a second. So the main, the main focal print in this line is the cow skulls with the flowers. And these were the two prints that I picked to accompany it. I got all of my rows in this configuration done. So that start with the big one and then go to the patch. Um, so I now need to make the opposite rows, which will start with the four patch, but, um, it's just going to be one of Ashley's like big little quilts patterns. And they're just going to, this is hard to do. <laughs> I thought, I thought that standing might be easier, but, um, but just envision it. Um, it'll be alternating like that. Um, but super cute. I love the cow skulls. I have a cow skull that I don't know where my grandfather, where my grandfather got it, but it was in the tree since I was a, 
a child. Um, but he set it in one of the trees in their backyards and the tree just kind of like grew around it and it was just really freaking cool. And it just sat inside of this tree. And, um, after they passed away and we were selling the house, I told my dad, I want the skull. Like I want the skull. And he was able to get the skull out. Um, because also I can't remember, but I think the tree was dying. And so we had to cut it down anyways. So <clears throat> my dad, I was it actually a tree? It was a, a crepe myrtle tree. And so um, I think it was dying. And there, anyways, he took it down himself. And he was very careful. He got the skull out for me. And um, it doesn't have horns. It's just the skull. And um, anyways, it's hung up on my back porch. And I love it. And it reminds me of my grandpa. And also just, you know, my degrees in the ag industry. And how I sometimes still miss all that. So there's that. Um, this is a quilt that I have one block done because this is the quilt block for it. So um, I saw something like this and I changed it to this. Um, and I'm not going to have enough of this, this batik colorway. Um, it was an ombre batik that went from this color orange to as dark as this and then back. And then um, this is a batik and this is a batik. I'm not gonna have enough. And that fabric is so old, I cannot find it. So um, it's possible that I'm going to unpick this. Um, if I, I'm gonna keep this block and it's possible that I will unpick this if I get low on this fabric because I also cannot, I can probably find some of that still. Um, but it's going to be really difficult. But this is my With Love from Porto uh, quilt. And I, the extras of this fabric are some, I have more, but I, I don't know where they, they reside right now in the mess that is this room. But um, I have the bird fabric from With Love from Porto. I have, I just showed you the lemons, but there's also the lemons. the tiles the cats <laughs> and then um the apron fabric has this like border around the bottom and this is from cotton and steel um but I'm using this as my sashing fabric um and I should have enough because this isn't all that I have <laughs> I have a, I have a fair amount of it and um, I'm saving this because I think the bottom of the quilt, I'm just going to put the bottom of the apron fabric. I think it would look really cool. Um, so the other two fabrics, because I have six main fabrics. This one is from Cotton and Steel's Sienna. And I want to say that this one was from Sienna, but I could be wrong. No, it's also from Sienna. So I also have this one. So I have a mixture of blues, navies, mustards, all from cotton and steel, um, from the with love from Porto and Sienna collection that all go together, mostly with love from Porto. Um, and here's the thing. So I'm going to run out of the orange and I'm not going to have, I mean, I'll have enough of these two because they're really sporadic, like random, but I'm going to run out of the orange. So what I did <clears throat> The tomato tomato line from Ruby Star Society. So majority or almost all of the original cotton and steel designers are now with Ruby Star Society. And tomato tomato came out and this is one of the colors from tomato tomato. So I'm going to make this instead of the orange. I'm going to make this from tomato tomato. I knew there was a reason for me to leave these out. Um, I mean, it goes well with that. It goes well with the little birds. So the, the reason that I saw this, it goes well with this. Um, and I thought of this quilt obviously goes well with the cats. I wish I had more of that. Actually, I'm, I don't think I do. I have more of the tapestry or the, the canvas fabric for this, for the with love from Porto. So, um, 
maybe I'll make like a bag or something. It goes well with this because of the lighter color. Um, and because of the lighter color, it goes with the lemons. So Ruby Star Society is re-releasing. Um, like Darlings 2 is coming out. The little pandas are in that line. Um, there's the little cats are in that line. The little uh, tigers are in that line. So Ruby Star, for whatever reason, is allowed to re-release some of their designs from whenever they were caught in steel. The other thing is, is that they kept a lot of the same colors, like down to the hex code color um, of majority of their lines and fabrics. So if you have old cotton and steel fabric and you can't get that line anymore or you can't find good coordinating fabrics, try the Ruby Stars because they are literally the same colors. Like that is the same blue. Um, so I got this to be the orange squares and to mix it up to have a different color here and to bring in the gold that is in this fabric right here. And there's a little bit of gold. I got black with these gold flowers because I thought they would kind of be whimsical and go with it. So um, the black is literally in each block going to be eight squares and then two squares in every sashing. So, um, and these both look really pretty together. So these are going to be, um, these are going to be the little in the nine patches. So I'm really excited about that. I got that today because I went to the fabric store. Oh, it's over here. One sec. <clears throat> but I went to the fabric store today. Oh, I could have done that. Hmm, thoughts in my head. That might be what I use it for. I don't know. Okay, so I went to the fabric store because one, I needed to get binding for the baby quilt I, that I'm going to be quilting this weekend because the baby shower is on April 2nd. So, one of my sorority sisters is having a baby and it's a little boy and they're doing a barnyard country theme. And anyways, I found this fabric and I asked her, I said, for your gift, instead of getting something off your registry, can I make you a baby quilt? And she said, um, absolutely, yes, please. So, which makes, that's thrilling for me. So I went on Etsy and was looking for like cute barn fabric. And I think I've shown this on here before, but this is the panel. This is Riley Blake and it's called Down on the Farm. And it's so stinking cute. It's so cute. Um, It's 24... It's right at 24 by 32. Um, it's closer to like 33, 34, but um, I'm gonna trim a little bit off the top and the bottom. And uh, anyways, the finished baby quilt is gonna be 24 by 32. So it's gonna be big enough for like a baby, but then like as they get older, it's gonna be just like a cute like throw around blanket, I think. Um, so anyways, super cute. The top of this panel had four little animal blocks and the bottom had four little animal blocks. So what I did was I got four coordinating fabrics. And these are the coordinating fabrics. Oh, that's upside down. Kelly. <laughs> I'm trying to show you the coordinating fabrics without showing you the little blocks yet. So um, I got the little gray paisley. Um, I got this one, which is kind of like a little repeat that has like little farm animals and stuff on it. Um, the little denim butt pockets and the chicken wire. So we have the little tractor, the little horsey, the little piggy riding the cow, the little piggy, the puppy with the chick, the little chicks and with its hens. Look at those little ducks. 
it looks like I fussy cutted some of these and I didn't. Um, we have, I was like, oh my gosh, do I have a seam busted? No, it's a little mud pile with the little piggy in the corner. Um, the little sheep with the chicken. And then we have our little billy goat. So cute. So, um, it, it puts in a little bit, a splash of like that green and stuff in there. Um, in the yellow, but I mostly went with the blue and red and gray, um, with this really fun, cute little print with all the little animals. Um, anyways, I just made it super random. So there are, there's like a gray heavy area and a blue heavy area, but I think it looks great. So one side is going to be this, the other side is going to be the panel. And I'm just going to do a simple, <clears throat> simple, like diagonal cross crosses. I don't know. I may even do stitch in the ditch, honestly, and just make it into squares, but it's going to get quilted. Um, and I got, I literally just had it in my hand. I just got black for the binding. Um, cause I just wanted to keep it really simple. And, um, I just, I think that'll be really good for a baby quilt. So while I was there today, um, Kim was going to run out of this panel. And so I decided to get some, this is from, does it say, I don't have a section that says putting a song on your heart from Moda. Um, I don't know the designer, but this is a line that she's had for a little while about, I think since the summer. And so they're just really cool. There's six, there's six of, of the designs, but you get two of each of them. Um, so there's, this is the, this is my story. This is my song praising my savior all the day long. And then we have strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Great is thy faithfulness. Um, come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. We have amazing grace. How sweet thy sound. And then we have, even so it is well with my soul and all to thee, my blessed savior, I surrender all. So <clears throat> we have those. I also found the other day, anyway, so I got one of those. I also found the other day, it was somewhere here on the table and it's literally such a mess. I have shit everywhere. I can't find it. Anyways, a long time ago, I bought a panel of just like, they're like fancy written words and they're very similar. Did I put it back into the closet? I don't think I did. I think it's just buried. Such is life. Okay. So, um, anyways, I got this new panel. I do have a little bit of stitching to show you, but like I said, today is mostly quilts. Um, Okay, I also finally finished putting together my blocks from my food group line to make my, um, to make my table cover. Um, so I'm really excited. So here's, here's some of them. The colors are outrageous. So you have meats and like words and flowers and fruit. Um, they're crazy. Uh, eggs. Um, they're just, the colors are insane. So this is by Ruby Star Society. This is called Food Group. And I picked some of this up today because I was just like, I need some of this. I, like, I don't know what to do with it. This is from Camellia, um, and the, the new line coming out, which is like teacups and stuff. But I feel like I was going to do the other blocks of this in muslin but it might be fun to do it in this so um there's some of like the bronze uh, dots in there but there's green and pink and the blue um and the rust color and so basically the inside <laughs> this is gonna be crazy I don't maybe because I can get more of this I know that I can um, so I might just start cutting this out and seeing how many that I can get, but a yard should be enough because I need less. I need less or about the same amount that I need for one of Ashley's big little quilts and the blocks are about the same size. 
Oh my gosh, this might work. <laughs> I might be doing this with these instead of muslin to give them even more of a craziness. Oh, that's such a good idea. I think we have a plan. Okay, so I think... <laughs> I think that uh, it was fate that I got this today, um, but they're going to go every other um, six rows across, six rows down, so 48 by 48 whenever it's finished-ish, and then, then I want to put a border on it because that will basically cover the top of my table, but I'm making a square and I have a round table, so I need a border, and so this is the food group line. <laughs> The polka dots is from Camellia, which is kind of in process of coming out because of supply chain stuff. Like Kim has the bolts that she ordered for the line, but not the pre-cuts. And sometimes she gets the pre-cuts first, but not the bolts. Anyway, she also has Unruly Nature bolts, but she doesn't have the pre-cuts yet. And I am going to make a jelly roll cake or jelly roll quilt with an Unruly Nature jelly roll, but they aren't in yet. Um, so anyways, this one came from Kim's down in Montgomery. This is also from Tomato Tomato, which also just came out. Um, and so it's super pretty. It's this like bright, crazy green, which again, because these are all Ruby Star Society, all the colors go together. You see that green, it matches, um, it matches with this green. So perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm going to mix and match in the border that green with from the tomato tomato line, actual tomatoes. <laughs> so the border is going to look like little tomatoes <laughs> with this. It's going to be insane. I love it. So I think, yeah, this is going to be my tablecloth. It's going to be absolutely insane, but also perfect at the same time. Like kind of retro looking, but also kind of like, girl, what the hell did you do? That's what I'm going for. Um, <clears throat> okay, before I show the last thing, I'm going to show you my stitching. Because <laughs> that's what most of you are actually here for. Um, did I lose my needle? No. Okay, it's in there. It's attached to thread. Okay, so um, I did start working on getting <sighs> yesterday, getting caught up with my temperature wander with me from stitch and mommy um i have another paw print to put right here but i started working on the knitting ball this is my low temps um so i didn't get very far i did not get very far so i haven't even done the high temps so um i had three little toes left to do on this paw print and as of yesterday, I had a full paw print that I can do. But as of today, I have a full paw print and one giant center. Um, and I, I'm try I was trying to like figure out the um, the yarn balls, what color you want to do on the low temp, what color I want to do on the high temp. I think I have that figured out. So I need to get this caught up. But there's kind of like a little sneak pre peek preview. Um, this is on 14 count black Ada that just came from the craft store that was gifted to me. And also this last week, I got started on, oh God, I have all the threads in here because I always pack things like I'm not going to film yet because I think I have more time to like stitch and then I've been quilting. <laughs> so, but also to be fair, I have some deadlines with my quilting right now because of the challenge going on. So for the April meeting, I have to have my food group quilt top finished. I have to have the Civil War reprint uh, pre-packaged baggies for the quilt that I'm then going to be putting together with my Quilt Guild friends. And before that meeting on April 2nd, I have this baby shower. So I legit have to get the baby quilt done. So, um, but anyways, I started the second fall on the farm um, and it is called, I think it's called the old farmhouse. It is the old farmhouse. So this is the second block in the series. Not a lot to go off of, but started the border, um, and then started some of the little flowers and the grass, the house goes right here. 
an old farmhouse. So started that and this is on 32 count. Oh, that's really good coloring. Um, this is on 32 count Lugana picture this plus heartland. Um, the other thing is this ring light, unlike my smaller one that I normally film with, if I get long winded, like, uh, I did last time or like a, I apparently seem to be doing right now. Um, <clears throat> It's plugged in, so it won't start dimming, which is fantastic. Um, so again, thanks Ashley for <laughs> providing me with a really awesome ring light. It's on like a giant stand. It's taller than me. Um, okay, so this came in today and this is why I was off today. I took off today, um, but Moda by can't see what her name is. What is her name? I don't know. I don't want to open it yet. Um, but I don't know her name. I know that it's, uh, it's the AB bundle. I know her, her first name starts with an A and her last name starts with B. Is it Allie something? I think it's Allie something. Anyways, the Hey Y'all collection came in. Um, actually. Okay. So Kim's had the kits and she's had the pre-cuts. That quarter bundle came in and she ordered a fat eighth for somebody. And those came in literally yesterday. The yardage is not in yet. So she still doesn't have the bolts yet. It's so crazy. They're shipping everything like separate. Um, so I'm, I've been working on designing a quilt for this that it, there's a panel, <laughs> there's a panel. And if you look up the Hey Y'all fabric, you're going to see the kit and the kit uses the main, the main panel. It's the shape of Texas with the wildflowers in it. It literally says, Hey y'all through it. It's so Texas. It's stupid. Um, like in the best way possible. The other two parts of the actual panel fabric is an all black square that in white with the two stars, um, that looks very reminiscent of like the come and take it flag. Um, it says Texas made. And it's like stark black, you guys, stark black. Um, the other one is a vertical um, piece of the panel. And it is also black with the white outline of, oh, I was going to see if it was on the front. It's not, of a cactus. It's so pretty. It's so cute. I love it. Anyways, so my envision for this is to make it look like the Texas flag is literally exploding around these panels. So these are all black, white, and gray fabrics. They have actual like shapes of Texas on them and things like that. And they are stunning. And I keep on debating, do I want to do any piecing or do I literally want to make it look like a mosaic quilt? Because that would be really fun. And if I do that, then I'm going to make two and a half well, finished, there'll be two by two squares all over the entire quilt around the three panels with random grunge borders in red, white, and blue. And the best part, I got to look through the grunge ordering catalog and she has the white that I like, but she's going to get more of it because she sells a lot of that grunge. Um, but and if you want to see my deal, I'll, my idea, I'll tell you the names. So if you can find them, you can find them. But Kim is going to specifically order the three red, the red, white, and blue that I want to make this quilt because a quilt store can never have too much grunge because it will always get sold because grunges are such a good companion fabric. Just ask Ashley. She uses it on almost everything. <laughs> um, but I'm going to get winter cherry for the red. It's gorgeous look it up. It's amazing. Surf the net for the blue. It's a, it's so bright. It's amazing. And then paper white. It's either white paper or paper white. Anyways, it's fabulous. It's like the closest white that you can get to. This is like stark, stark, stark white. Um, whenever it comes to like fabric, um, cause they're always like sometimes a little tinge, but this one has like no tinge. This is white. So that one is also stark white. There's a little bit of cream in it, but there's also some little streaks of gray, which is why I picked it because there's gray in this. Um, and we looked at an open kit, 
um, with some of the fabrics to make sure that, like the grays didn't clash. Um, but the red is like, it's a little bit deeper, but it's a lot of the other reds have like streaks of like pink or browns or coppers in them. This one is red. It's a red. It's like the most red grunge you can find. Um, and then the blue, oh my gosh, it's like cobalt blue with like uh, some like darker streaks of blue, a little bit lighter streaks of blue. It is so amazing. It's like so bright and vivid. It's crazy. Also, I didn't say the date. It's March 18th. Um, I'm so out of order. Anyways, I'm also so excited. She cannot order them until April 7th because they aren't currently in stock, but she wrote on her calendar. She's going to order those three grunges and then they'll be here next month. So I still have time to decide, but basically the Texas flag is going to be in the center or the tech, the text, the Texas panel that says, Hey y'all is going to be in the center. It's going to have a border around it of the grunge split like an actual Texas flag. And then <clears throat> from that, there's going to be blue coming out of it. The, there's going to be a border around the whole thing that is also going to be the grunge in the Texas flag, like proportions and of blue, white, and red. <laughs> And the blue is going to seep in that way too. And then the fabrics are going to mix in. So I'm tempted to do two by two squares because then I could kind of like mosaic them around the panels. It's going to be, I think it's going to be amazing. I also want to put camo on the back and there's another quilt line out right now by Moda. It's called Wildflowers and they have a fabric with blue bonnets and Indian paintbrushes on it, which if you've ever driven through Texas, especially in the hill country, that's all you see in like the spring and early summer. <laughs> Blue bonnets for the eyes can see and then mix in there are these little pops of red of Indian paintbrushes and it is glorious and beautiful. Um, it's just, it's amazing. And they have a fabric in there and that's what I want the binding to be. And Kim has it with the white background, but Doris has it with the black. And because there's so much black in here, I don't know. I'm going to have to make the decision closer to the, to the time, but I think the black will really like close it and frame it. Um, but anyways, I'm so, so stoked about this. Um, and also been wanting to make a quilted jacket and I'm going to try and find a pattern that I like and feel confident in attempting to do this but one of the fabrics that she got is black with the texas made out of these little lines i know you can't really see it but that is the fabric actually there's the you can kind of see it there's its little toe down there anyways these three color grunges with that i really want to make a go texan a go texan quilted jacket like to wear on Texas Independence Day, to wear to the rodeo, to wear whenever I feel like it, honestly. Um, if you can't tell I really love my state, <laughs> really love my country. So um, I want to make all the things Texas, but this line is going, this line, she ordered like 24 of the quilt, the official quilt kits and all of them are spoken for except for like four of them. <laughs> Um, and I really like it and you can buy just the pattern because the pattern is amazing. I just didn't like the placement of the fabrics in the kit because there's, there's different patterns, different fabrics that I would have chosen to make more of like the focals, if that makes sense. Um, and so you can buy just the pattern so, so that way you can buy the panels and still make the quilt, but change it up. Um, so I didn't want to get the kit. So that's why I got this, uh, the fat quarter bundle, because it came with the panel and I was just like, I'm going to design, I'm going to design my own. And that's whenever I was like, I want to mix in the grunges. Um, but I think I am still going to buy that pattern because I think like it has a lot of, well, one panel opportunity, if you can find a panel about the same size, but also like you could create something to go in the center. Um, <clears throat> it, it's a it's a really cool layout so um anyways kind of looks like a 
kind of looks like a snowflake actually like because of the way that it like comes off you'd have to look it up look up the hey y'all fabric and you'll see the panel you'll see the full fabric line and you'll see the kit like if you just do a google search you'll see all those things so um anyways so excited about this um can't wait to get through the grunges i know where i want the panels on the quilt i know how big i want the borders um of the grunge it's really just deciding do i want to do piecework or do i want to do it a mosaic and if you've gotten this far and you have an opinion on that please let me know in the comments um i think piecing would be really pretty but the problem is the logistics of putting it together because of where the panels are going to be i think that doing two by two squares one would look really cool mosaic but also two would be a little bit less chaotic um but there will be some like solid areas where there would off of the borders where there would be just solid grunge like coming into the mosaic but I think I'm okay with that because if you've ever seen grunge, it already kind of looks mosaic. So if it's also cut down smaller, it might be okay. Um, but also by that time, I might pick another, I might add in like another like tone on tone of each one because in the wildflowers collection, there is a blue on blue flower and a red on red flower. Um, and so I might be able to incorporate that and I might be able to get a little bit more. There's some white on white tonal in here. Um, once the bolt fabric comes out, I might be able to get a little bit more of that and incorporate that so it's not just grunge on the edges and like kind of actually like bleed in those colors. So I have thoughts and ideas and theories um, <laughs> of how I want this to go. But the goal for this weekend or this next week really is finish cutting out those blocks for my quilt guild, put together my food group um, thing. Uh, I would love to finish putting together my dad's quilt top uh, because literally they're all just rows and I just honestly have to sew them together and I'm being lazy, let's just be honest. Um, quilt the baby quilts and if I can finish putting at least the rows of shine on together, that would be great. Um, get my temperature sal caught up and work more on all of this, which is the farmhouse. Um, probably the farmhouse fall because um, it seems like I'm just not into stitching winter right now, which is fine, but the fall is so cute and I'm just obsessed. Also, I still need to whip stitch the binding on my puff quilt. So I need to make that a priority. I also need to finish doing the binding on my American flag quilt, which let me just show it to you because I can see it. <clears throat> and I'm also doing this to help myself be accountable. And I'm honestly just making this room even more of a mess because that was underneath a bunch of stuff and I just did this and now more stuff is scattered about. It's fine. Um, yeah, so I've started whip stitching the binding on this started it and <laughs> I have not gotten very far I have gotten this far <laughs> in whip stitching the binding but I made this a really long time ago and I really just honestly need to finish it because this is ridiculous at this point but how pretty is that um, so that's, that's the top and then there we go. It was a free pattern. Um, if you bought the fabrics for it, look how cute and the quilting, um, you can't really see the quilting as well on this side. Um, but the back, the, the bobbin was done in a cream to go with the backing and the front, you can see it kind of on the creams. It was red, white, and blue. Um, but there's like stars and swirls all in it. Can you see that? Yes. So I really just need to get this done. But this was a mixture of Civil War reprints and uh, not Civil War reprints. So, um, 
anyways, I love this. I love this so much. Um, you might recognize some of these fabrics because the leftovers I have used to finish, um, to FFO some things, but, um, super cute. I literally just need to sit there and whip stitch it, which honestly does not take very long. You just have to be willing <laughs> to not be working on something like new and exciting. <laughs> literally all it is. Yep. So, um, I have a hefty, oh, I did work on one other thing, two other things. Where's my bag? The bag of endless possibilities in my HEB Texas bag. <laughs> it's, it's a really nice giant bag. So I don't really use it at the grocery store. So, um, I did also get started on Tracy and Jackie's quilt. So I'm also making them, oh, those are extras. I'm also making them a big little quilt. Um, and Jackie's is with the Tula pink fabric from daydreamer. So, um, I have the, I have the squares. I, I need now need to just put those together. Um, and then I can make the rows, but one, a single strip, the night that I cut this, it was actually funny enough. Another night that Ashley and I stayed up with no sleep. Um, I cut the strip one direction, half an inch too small. So I actually had to buy more of this one as well for a single strip to make the rest of these blocks. Fun story. Um, and then uh, I started putting together Tracy's blocks. These are both batiks. Uh, her whole quilt is going to be batiks. And so flipped. This is what her four patch will look like on hers as well. So um, I did get a fair amount of like sewing done. Um, these were all already cut out. I did have to cut out all of the shine on fabric for mine. But um, I mean, I got all of these prepped and then finished all the blocks for mine and started putting those together and worked on food group. And so <clears throat> I got a fair amount done. There's still stuff that I should have gotten done, but you know, it is what it is. And, um, I know that I said this last time that we would talk about market, but my market releases have still not made it to me yet. Um, I don't know when Nancy's going to ship them out. So I'm still waiting for that order to ship. Um, so when those come in, I will then talk about what else is on my wish list. <laughs> um, and if it's, if that's going to be super ridiculously long and also I have quilt stuff to show you, maybe I'll let you, um, tell me in the comments on this video, if you would just rather watch a really super long video or for that instance, would you rather have a cross stitch video and then a quilting video. So let me know and I will see y'all next week. I hope that y'all have a great one and yeah, let me know what you're working on and some of your opinions because I don't always take them, but I enjoy getting them because, um, sometimes, you know, we need help making decisions. So I hope that y'all are having a good one. Have a blessed one. I will see y'all next week. Bye guys.